Two-minute drill time. Sean, let's talk about some of the players who talked about letting down their head coach. They really felt like they let him down on Saturday. And, and Andy, that's the difference to me with Scott Frost compared to even to Mike Riley or Bo Pelini. When you look at him, this means more to him. He's from here. His dad played here. His mom coached here, played for Coach Osborne. He's one of us. He's from this state, and he gets what it means to the people when you lose games and you're on an 0-4 start. And you could feel that raw emotion from Scott Frost. What's that going to be worth going forward? Madison, Wisconsin, Evanston, uh, Indiana, or Illinois coming up. I mean, those aren't going to be easy road trips. No question about it. Madison, Wisconsin is always a tough place to play. Let's talk about the penalties. 11 more on Saturday. That gives him 42 in four games. Scott Frost called this the most undisciplined team right now maybe in the country, and it's hard to argue. Uh, every time Nebraska takes a step forward, they take two steps back, whether it's a penalty. I mean, heck, they get a great three and out, and Freedom Akamalden, you can agree or disagree, his hand hit the quarterback in the head, which is a penalty. Um, and, you know, I, I know it was controversial, but you had so many of those situations that get an interception, well, then Lamar Jackson gets a defensive holding penalty, which negates the interception. So there were just so many of these little things that you're just not going to get very far when those things happen. And Scott Frost says if players continue to do that, they'll find themselves on the bench like Lamar Jackson found himself on the bench in the second half. On the bright side, offensively, they they showed some spark on Saturday. Yeah, I thought Divino Zigbo, Adrian Martinez, J.D. Spielman, Stanley Morgan, I mean, that, that group of guys really battled when, you know, it, it wasn't looking good. And they kept Nebraska in the game. They, they just had too big of a hold that they, they couldn't get out of it. Yeah, and defensively, some room to grow. they got to get some pressure. Yeah, start, Eric Shenander feeds off sacks on defense. They only had one sack in this game. That's something that has to improve, especially against Wisconsin on Saturday, who's going to be more of a, a drop-back team. Yeah, we'll see if they can get some pressure on Alex Hornibrook next Saturday in Madison, Nebraska at Wisconsin.